So the beach chase is next. This is the first of the two races today to be run over the Grand National course. And it's a 0 to 160 over three miles and two furlongs at the top. We've got Acaster Malbis for Darren Thompson, Firebrand for Joshua Sutherland, Obsidian Shard, Leon Van Rensburg, Crackled Alex Cherry, Art of Success, David Hooley, Earthquake, Paul Rhodes, Sagramore Dreams, Graham Clitterbuck, Cottage Rake, right, Craig Beckwith, and Mech de Combat for Martin Leadham. So nine of them is all we've got over the Grand National Fences. You really want 15, 16 in this, don't you? But we've got nine, including... And away they go, they're off and racing. Very short run to the first, which they're all safely over. And it's Firebrand who's got into the controversial winner of last week's Hennessy Gold Cup. He's discovered afterwards he wasn't eligible to run, but get into the second. The sensible decision has been made to allow him to keep the races in. It'll be far too complicated to try and rerun it. I wasn't done with anything other than in error, so they get to the next, and they're also for the over that, so Firebrand Gate is done and dusted, and Acaster Malvis is the leader, by about three lengths, to Art of Success in second, and then Rectory Combat, the winner last week in third, Firebrand also a winner of course last week in fourth, and on the inside of that one is Alex Cherry's Crackled, and towards the back Sandra Moore Dreams is the back marker, Acaster Malbis, as is his want, bowling along in the lead, likes to go off in front this one. The Art of Success in second, make the combat on the outside third, Firebrand on his inside fourth. The field is pretty tightly grouped with the exception of this leader as they get to the next, which they're all safely over. The enthusiastic crowd wave them by. Acaster Malbis leads by a bad five or six lengths to make the combat is now a clear second. Crackled made a bit of a mistake at that one. And Art of Success has moved through into third. But Acaster Malbis will lead them over the chair. And make the combat second. They all give the chair plenty of air, plenty of respect, and they all went over it safely but slowly. With Acaster Malbis now racing down towards the water with a lead of about eight lengths. Met the combat second, one or two of them were a little bit ponderous over the water, which is a surprise. They'll swing left-handed now and do a complete circuit of the track, obviously with the exception of the chair of the water jump, and race down to the fence, which is the first in the Grand National. I haven't come for a few weeks yet, but it's Acaster Malbis who is in the lead from Met the combat second. Then after success third, Cottage Rake fourth, then Crackled. And then almost five in a line to complete the field. Obsidian Shard probably just about the back marker. But Acaster Malbis is bowling along nicely in the lead. Gets to this next one. Slow jump by Mechner Combat, seeing that one drop back into fourth or fifth. And with uh, Firebrand jumping up nicely into second as they take the ninth. And the one down on its nose there was Earthquake. The smell of the earth. His nose was right down on the turf. And it's Acaster Malbis who will lead them into this big ditch. And really attack that fence and got over it nicely. The rest of them over it okay. Met the combat a little bit slow towards the back. But Acaster Malbis is still clear by about six. To Firebrand and Art of Success as they take the 11th. And they're all safely over that one. The Obsidian Shard was untidy and has now been relegated to the back position. But it's Acaster Malbis in front. Firebrand second, Art of Success third, Cottage Rake fourth, as they take the one before Beaches, and they're all safely over that one. They make their way down towards Beaches Brook with Acaster Malvis in the lead. Firebrand move through into second, Cottage Rake third. Mick the Combat is improving again on the inside of Crackle, then Art of Success. Sagramore Dreams, the grey is getting a bit closer as they all stream over Beaches, no problems with anything there. Obsidian Shards getting a little bit closer. Sacramore Dreams move to the outside. Earthquake is just a back marker, but it's recalled from that mistake as they take that one after Beaches and Acaster Malbis made a mistake at that one. It's been foot perfect all the way around and the smallest fence on the course very nearly went. So Acaster Malbis then racing down to the canal turn with a lead of no more than half a length now from Firebrand in second. Met the Combat's third. Then Cottage Rake and Obsidian Shard as they head for Valentine's. And 
Saturday, Castor Malbis and Firebrand. Gap of three then to Mech the Combat. Over Valentine's Brook they go, they're all safe now for that good jump on the outside by the grey. Sad Remore Dreams, Crackled is just dropped to the back now and Art of Success is struggling a little bit as they come down to the 17th and over that one they go and it's A Castor Malbis, mistake there by Cottage Wreck. A Castor Malbis, Firebrand second, Mech the Combat third, Obsidian Shard. Now getting into it, Earthquake coming through that one on the inside. Um, they get to the next, this is a big ditch and Mech the Combat was a little bit slow over it but it's A Castor Malbis joined by Firebrand now then Acaster Malbis on the inside Firebrand is in second Mech the Combat third then Obsidian Shard this is the third last and a really good jump by the leader Acaster Malbis and suddenly Art of Success has got a second wind and sweeps into second Firebrand is suddenly slowed right up and the Obsidian Shards move through into third they're now starting the race towards the turn towards home when they've got two more fences to take and then that gruelling long running it's Art of Success who's in the lead now Acaster Malbis the, is in second then comes comes Obsidian Shard, Sagramore Dreams after that one, then Mech the Combat and Earthquake, then comes Fire Run, Cottage Wreck, and Crackled is the back marker, but it's Acaster Malbis who's regained the lead, Acaster Malbis for Obsidian Shard, not a success, they're coming down towards the final two fences now, the field are beginning to bunch, it's wide open, over it they go, slightly better jump on the outside by Obsidian Shard who now goes on, Earthquake looks a big danger, it's Obsidian Shard, Art of Success, Acaster Malbis, Earthquake, Mech the Combat, then Sagramore Dreams, then Firebrand. They're racing down towards the final fence, and over it they go. And Obsidian Shard jumped it well and got away from it well. Obsidian Shard from Art of Success in second. Sagramore Dreams is third. Mech the Combat fourth. They're racing to the elbow in there. There's a furlong to go, and it's Obsidian Shard who's in the lead. Obsidian Shard from Art of Success in second. Mech the Combat in third. Firebrand trying to run in fourth. Obsidian Shard in the lead. Art of Success is getting closer, but it's Obsidian Shard who's got to hold on and take it. Obsidian Obsidian Shard wins it from Heart of Success, second Mech the Combat, third Firebrand, fourth then Sagramore Dreams, and all the way back to Crackled. And Obsidian Shard takes it for Leon Van Rensburg, Heart of Success back in second. Mech the Combat, third Firebrand ran a strange race, looked to be dropping right out of it, turning for home. But Obsidian Shard the winner for Leon Van Rensburg. Heart of Success for David Hooley was second. Mech the Combat. For Miles Leader from Man of the Handicap was third. Firebrand was fourth for Joshua Sutherland. Sagramore Dreams for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.